Hey YouTubers and gamers on the back, in today's episode it's not a pickup video, it is actually a collection video which I have not done for a very very long time. Uh, basically today I'm going to show you my complete, my, my, I say my complete, it's my Sega Saturn collection and it's complete in the sense I've got all the games I want. So that's both POW games, Japanese games and I've got some reproduction games and some um, homebrew games as well. So. Uh, I think, yeah, they are about some third party homebrew games, I'm sure there is, it's not just repos. I might be, I might be wrong on that. But anyway, I've got some um, um, oddities as well, really, to show you. Uh, yeah, so without further ado, what I'm going to do is going to show you uh, where I've got all my games stored. Now, my games aren't actually stored in my game room. Um, there is a game room video coming, but I'm waiting to get, get some more units from Ikea just to make it perfect and, you know. That costs money, so uh, I may have to hold on for a little while for that. But it is coming, definitely it is coming, I promise you that. But uh, today I'm going to do a Saturn video. And my Saturn games actually are in my corridor in the hallway, but I've got it nicely presented, as you will see. After I show you where the, uh, the games are stored, I'm going to go through all the games. and uh, So it's going to be a bit of a long video, I suppose. But uh, anyway, without further delay, let's get through to the games. Right, there's a little bit of a glare unfortunately, but here in the hall is where I've got my Sega games, Sega Saturn games. Uh, got a bit of a Sega neon light there. I don't know if you can make it out, the camera is adjusting. On the top two shelves are uh, power games. To the left are a lot of the Japanese imports. And also some my Japanese reproductions. On the bottom shelf they're just, um, they're not Saturn games, they are Sega CD, Mega CD games and some Dreamcast um, homebrew games. So it's just really uh, these shelves all for a Saturn collection. Uh, while we're here, I do have my action replay cart there and I've got quite a nice little set here I'll show you. Here's my Battle Gregor limited edition type. Um, well, it's like a video tape basically. It's a video gameplay that lasts about 1 hour 10 minutes. And it's also come with a music soundtrack CD, really. So, that's that was from Japan. Sorry. And on the top, you may think, what is that? Uh, why have I got a Saturn accessory? Well, this is like I say, it's a, uh, well, it is an accessory, it's a keyboard, but it comes with a game called Habitat, Habitat 2. And uh, yeah, it's, it's like almost like minty, mint condition, this keyboard. And uh, I'm a bit of a sucker for Saturn accessories. And on the side of the box, it says net, so obviously, yeah, it was like a, I assume it's some kind of online. Game, not that I'll be playing it because it'll probably be all in Japanese and I won't be able to understand it. So it's one of those pointless accessories, I suppose you could argue. Um, but anyway, um, let's see if I've got anything else. No, no, I think um, you'll you see the rest when I to show you the games. So without further delay, let's get back to a, the main lounge and I'll go through the games. Back with the games, so naturally, alphabetical order. Alien Trilogy. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about games because it's something will take too long more than anything else, really. So, um, all I would say with my games is um, they're mostly um, they're either Saturn exclusives or if they're also on a PS1, I might also have them on a PS1, but I just got them for Saturn because I really love the game. Um, so, obviously, Alien Trilogy also on the PlayStation. But, uh, yeah, classic game. A mock or a mock, um, it's like um, it's like a mech type game. Burning Burning Rangers, one of the classics um, games that people want for a system, quite pricey. Uh, another sort of isometric type uh, role playing game, Dark Savior. Um, I think this is about a modesty price, but worth picking up. Uh, Daytona games. Alright, so we have Daytona USA. Classic. 
I also have Daytona USA Championship Circuit Edition, which I think has got more tracks. But I think there's a change to a soundtrack. So, um, so yeah, really you need both games. <laughs> okay, Die Hard Arcade. Another must for Saturn. There was various Die Hard games on the PlayStation, but I don't think it's exactly the same as that. We've got Die Hard Trilogy on the PlayStation, I believe. So yeah, Die Hard Trilogy. Okay, this is a game that uh, I got years ago just by chance in a computer shop when they didn't really quite know what they had. So I was just going through a number of games. Not heard of it before, but that same morning I saw uh, a YouTube video and uh, I was talking about this game being quite rare. And that same day, believe it or not, I came across the game. And uh, there was no price on it. I asked the computer, uh, the computer shop that I had much, including couple of other filler type game type things and he said 12 quid for all three games so it worked out about four pound each which is a steal for this it's all complete but it's a two disc game but uh, yeah deep fear uh, sort of Resident Evil inspired type horror game very cheesy um, acting and graphics but yeah very sought after Doom uh, not necessarily the best port of Doom but still Doom so you have to have it Duke Nukem 3D again on the PlayStation 2, but it's good to have it on a Saturn. That's quite a good port, I believe. Another game on the PlayStation, Exhumed. This is like a, a sort of a Egyptian type fantasy stroke adventure stroke horror game uh, with shooting elements. So if you like Duke Nukem, you'll probably like that. That's also on the PlayStation, like I said. Fever 97. I got this one as part of a bundle when I got one of my Saturns off a car boot years ago for 25 quid and cleaned some about half a dozen of these rare gets games. So, yeah, in the old days you used to get some really magical deals, didn't you? But not so much these days. Okay, um, another Virtua Fighter type game, uh, Fighters Mega Mix. Not too mad on Virtua Fighter games. Um, uh, Golden Axe Duel. Uh, condition of a box, as you can see, there's a bit of a mark there. It's not perfect, but it is quite a sort of often and pricey game. Okay, Guardian Heroes. Um, I believe you can get this on the Xbox um, uh, Xbox Store actually on your 360. If you want to, you know, get a cheaper version of that to play, or updated version too. So it's not too expensive if you got an Xbox Store, but obviously Saturn is a different story. Okay, uh, that game, Gun Griffin. Uh, there's also Seagull Tours, I believe, which I got in my Japanese collection. But yeah, Gun Griffin, another Met game. Okay, Kato 2 Flying Squadron, another one of the really top pricey games on the Saturn. Um, really sought after. Also got the original on the Mega CD. Um, yeah, a good um, cartoony shooter. Um, Surprise limited one or no one hasn't really tried to port it to um, all modern systems really, but I guess it's not that straightforward. But anyway, um, Last Bronx, uh, I got sort of, it's another fighting game. I think it's in the same vein as like the SNK fighters, like a final fight and stuff like that, I think. Um, there might be some sort of connections to it. I could be stand corrected, but it is Sega anyway, not a fighting game. Alright, uh, Sega Manx TT Superbike. Um, yeah, if you like your hang on and so forth, it's quite a good um, game. It's relatively cheap, so why not? Marvel Super Heroes. This is one of my first personal favourite fighting games on the, on the, on the Saturn. Um, you can get it as a Japanese one, and I think the Japanese version might actually come with a 4 megabyte cartridge, but this one, the power one, doesn't, so. Um, it's obviously playable without it, but um, I've got it anyway, a megabyte cartridge, so I guess it's slightly better, but, um, probably less um, screen tearing and stuff if you play it with a megabyte cartridge, I suppose. But anyway, um, yeah, I really highly, really highly rate this. You can always get this on a PlayStation, but um, if you want a good fighting game for a Saturn, don't overlook Marvel Super Heroes. It really is good. Uh, NBA Extreme. Again, that was part of that cheap, but Bondor got off a car boot. This was as well, Need for Speed. I still need to get this original Need for Speed on the PlayStation, but I hardly ever see it. Okay, Nights into Dreams. Um, yeah, that is obviously 
Assassin exclusive this version. Um, I'm, I know it was port, it was a port to Wii, but obviously it's a bit different. But uh, yeah, and they say you've got to use a 3D controller if you got one, and I've got a Japanese one. But they also, I think this came with a magazine, I believe. Um, Christmas Night into Dreams, which is like a Christmas version of it slightly. So um, yeah, um, got that too. Um, that was part of that big bundle, Pandemonium. I do need to get that on the PlayStation. Uh, okay, we all heard of the Panzer Dream games. I uh, won't say more about those. Um, yeah, must have. And Panzer Dream Dream 2 Zwei. That sounds German, doesn't it? And obviously, Panzer Dream Saga. I've got this all boxed and complete. I was lucky enough to have bought this probably about seven years ago for about 160 quid. A lot of money out of time, but I think it goes for just about almost double that nowadays. So yeah, um, yeah. Um, I think there is like a Panzer Dragoon for a first game remake. So whether or not there will remake Panzer Dragoon Saga, top down, top on, who knows? Possibly. Uh, the only there's only a slight little damage on the sleeve on the top. There, there's a slight little not quite tear, but crease. So it is. So it's not perfect, but it's, it's certainly good enough for me. And I've got it all, you know, wrapped up. Okay, Crake. This is like a Saturn exclusive. You can get it on the PC, of course, but on consoles, to get the first Crake is not so easy. Uh, Crake 2 is the more common enough, but the first Crake. Uh, Wasn't it evil? Again, if I have it for Saturn. I love Wasn't it evil. Uh, Robotica, Cyber Nation Revolt. Again, I have another mech, sh mech type shooting game. Not too expensive. Uh, this game, Scorcher. The Power and American copies are quite reasonably priced, whereas I believe the Japanese version this is super expensive. So it was one of the last release games, I believe. But anyway, quite, um, all right, this is a must have. It's got Afterburner 2, which you can get as a standalone disc in Japan, I believe. Space Harrier and Out One. Three classy games. So Gage is volume one. I don't think it's too expensive, so it's a must have for a book that I've already collected. Another Sega racing game, Sega Touring Car Championship. Not played this yet, but the graphics looks pretty good actually. Um, and of course a classic Sega Rally Championship. Um, yeah, we have to have it. Um, if you like your arcade racing, you've got to have that. Okay, so the Shining games. Shining the Holy Ark. Um, Shining RPGs are highly sought after. Shining uh, Wisdom and uh, also Shining Force 3. Um, there was um, other games released in a series for this but only in Japan which I'll talk more about in a minute. Okay, um, Skeleton Warriors. Um, this is like a platforming beat em up type uh, adventure game, Skeleton Warriors. Um, Virgin Interactive. I thought Konami had to be something involved with this, but anyway, it's also on the PlayStation. Um, not a most common game, a little bit pricey, but not mad. Okay, Street Fighter games. So you have, here we have Street Fighter Alpha's Warriors Dream. Must have. Street Fighter Alpha 2. Okay, House of the Dead. I love my light gun games, and so this is like the House of the Dead. Yeah, definitely want that. And Kino Fighters 95. Again, you can get this in Japan, which may come with a me megabyte cartridge or whatever, but it was released as a standalone, you know, this set in Europe. I don't think we've got any other King of Fighters games over here, but again, the Saturn. For Saturn, why get a Saturn? Fighting games, especially the 2D ones, more so, I would say. And obviously, the, the you know, the shooters, the space shooters, and stuff like that. Um, especially, but you're going to have to import from Japan if you collect for Saturn, otherwise, you're just missing out on the best part of a library. And they're not all stupidly expensive games from Japan, but a lot of them are, unfortunately, nowadays. Okay, Tomb Raider, which came out on the Saturn before PlayStation. So yeah, um, classic. 
Virtua Cop. I've actually got Virtua Cop 1 and 2. And these games did come as a um, as box sets with the guns. But those box set versions are like um, dual case, whereas these are actually proper boxes. So um, I thought these were more desirable because I've got um, you know a Japanese black gun separate anyway. So I thought I'll go for more dual boxes. A bit more sought after actually. Uh, Furniture of Fighter 3. This was the original. Um, it was based, it was washed out for release of a Saturn, so it wasn't perfect. So later on they brought out a more perfect version. So this Virtua Fighter Remix, this is a worth version to get. Um, this also comes with a second disc, which I think is like a CG portrait collection or whatever else. I think there is a big box version of this as well, but I don't think it comes with both discs. So, so it's unusual for a Saturn game to come out in a, in a dual CD case. So again, I went for this version because I think it's the better out of the two really. And I'm not going to be mad and get variants of games, especially on the Saturn. It's just, you know, it's too many other good games to get. Okay, Virtua Fighter 2. Virtua Fighter Kids. Again, a lot of these Virtua Fighter games, I got part of that big bundle from the car boot, so it didn't cost me too much. So, apart from that, apart from this, so I'll pull that later on. Okay, um... This is a, a flight simulation type game. Wing arms. It's okay. If you like Afterburner, not quite as good as that, but it's okay. Alright, X-Men Children of the Atom. Um, yes, yeah, another Capcom fighting game that came over to the Power Territory, so again, another one to own. Okay, uh, I will be showing my Japanese games, but I do have in these long boxes there's some repos to show you. And some of these are games I already own, which I'll show you later. So, first of all, uh, found translation, um, Albert Odyssey. This is like, the English translation version of the game. Uh, the English version is really expensive. I do have a Japanese version of the game, which I'll show you later, but I wanted the English version just to have to play, really. So, I do ha own this game, but only a Japanese version. But I've got the English um, reproduction. And it's all like professionally printed type discs, so these are fantastically made, these big productions, and they were quite cheap. Okay, number one is for Capcom Generations 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5. So we, were, we actually got the fifth collection, which was a Street Fighter one. This was also brought out on the PlayStation, which I do also own on the PlayStation uh, original. Um, but the original Jack Saturn version of these, oh, they're quite pricey. We get all five discs which are sold separately easily cost you more than £100 so to get the reproductions for I think it's about seven or eight quid for the set probably nicely you know, printed discs it's a uh, no-brainer really also I've showed the original of this uh, I've got a reproduction to play so this is the one I'll play so I can leave the original uh, 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 well, kept, well looked after really because um, when no games are that expensive, you don't want to drop the disc or risk any damage to them, really. So, reproduction is the way to go, really. Uh, Dragon Force, uh, uh, again, this is the English uh, version of the game. The original is really super expensive. And I believe, I'm pretty sure I've got this on the Japanese um, Saturn 2. So, again, I wanted the English version to play. And Dragon Force 2, naturally. I don't think both of these games came out in the West. I think only the first one. But anyway. Got those in English. Okay, uh, and also Panzer Dragoon Saga, another um, reproduction set. Again, a spay or nine quid with all the discs nicely printed. Um, I can't, you know, for, for eight quid, it's worth having these, even if you own originals, just so you don't damage your originals. Especially those pricey games. Okay, Parodius. I do have this actually on the PlayStation. I don't have a Japanese version of this game because it's quite expensive even if you get power or Japanese so because I've got it as an original PlayStation um, um, why have a Japanese version? Why go you know why spend too much on the Saturn version in other words so that will do me. Uh, and also English fan translation version a copy of Police Noughts. As like the others I do have this on the Japanese Saturn. But obviously that's in Japanese language and to have an English version which you can actually play on nicely printed discs you know again that's about your £9 this is the way to go really 
and also with Shining Force Collection. So I do have Shining Force 3 alone, but this is a uh, collection including all those Japanese games that we did not get, and it's all like fan translated. So yeah, I must have. Okay, so that's my lawn box games on of those ones. Yeah, uh, I'm going to now show you my Japanese Saturn games. Okay, guys, we're we'll turning to my Japanese collection. I do have this. As a repo, the English band, band, the English translation version. But uh, this is the original Japanese Albert Odyssey, which is much cheaper than the Western release. And Area 51, uh, a great um, um, light gun shooter game. You can also obviously get it on the PS1 too, but it's nice to have it on the set as well. Again, I got this Japanese one because it plays exactly the same as the Western one, and it's much cheaper. Right, uh, this has to be my favourite game, uh, favourite game of all time really. But Algorega, uh, this is um, one of the best bullet hell shooters there is in my opinion. It's done by Rising, and um, it, you know if you if you, if uh, if you get one shooter for the Saturn, get this one. It is expensive. Um, you can get a um, you can get, get you can download this much cheaper. You get a Korean version of this on the disc format for PS4 if you want to have a cheaper way of playing a more updated version of the game. But for Saturn, this is top notch and it's definitely without doubt my favourite shooter and my favourite games of all time. Um, Biohazard, I love my Resident Evil, so I have to get that. Obviously, I've got the Western release. And Cyberbots, a nice Capcom um, 101 uh, fighting game. Okay, uh, we have to do a jump cut now to the other game, so see you in a minute. Well, I'm back. Uh, I don't know what happened there. The, the thing just powered out, so I don't know why. Strange. Uh, battery indicator says it's okay, so anyway, back to what we're saying. The original Dark Seed. Uh, first Dark Seed, not too expensive. There's the second, which I got a reproduction of because uh, it's quite expensive. It's not a particularly good game, so anyway, uh, yeah. Dead or Alive, uh, yeah, original, have to have it on a Saturn, again, not too expensive on Japanese, and it's, um, I don't think that came to PAL on Saturn, I don't think that did, but the original Dead or Alive, okay, Dragon Force, the first one, double CD, obviously in Japanese language, and Dragon Force 2, original copies, so, as you know, I do have English reproductions of those to actually play. Okay, uh, another sort of space fighting type game, Galaxy Fight, sort of space counters to a two D type fighting game. Okay, this one is Galaxy Four Line Una Free Lightning Angel. Um, this is quite an unusual one. It's, it's based on a manga or anime, whichever way you want to put it. And uh, it's like, like in elements, it's like an isometric type beat em up type game, but with RPG elements. So not hugely expensive, but highly recommended for a system. Okay, I love Godzilla, so I, I'm, I'm actually getting all the Godzilla games. So Godzilla, what's this called? Godzilla Retusun Retousinken. Or whatever. Okay. Okay, Gun Griffin 2. Met game. Oh, I've got the first one on PAL. Okay. Um, Alright, Kingdom Grand Prix. Um, this is like a spe shooter, a shooting game with a bit of race, some racing elements thrown in for fun. Um, I can't remember how much is this now, I've got it years, years ago, but it's a, again, I don't think it's stupidly expensive, but definitely one you want on the Saturn, and it's import only. Okay, Astral, again, this well, Japanese version plays just the same as it, well, I think it was released in the States, and, uh, and it's much, much cheaper than the Western version, so get with Japanese. Okay, uh, another space shooter, 
we must have one. Potatoes, layer section. Really good game. And naturally, layer section two. Must own. Okay. I have here Marvel Super Heroes vs Street Fighter, but it comes with a 4 megabyte RAM card. Nice condition. These 2D games in particular, muscle. Alright, okay. We've got here Neon Genesis Evangelion. Um, obviously, it's based on the manga. I'm unlikely to play it because I think it is quite intensive. It was cheap. I have to have a first Metal Slug game, haven't you? Uh, yeah, Metal Slug. What? We all know Metal Slug. And Police Snorts, which only came out on the Saturn. Uh, I'm pretty sure it didn't come out on the PlayStation. I'm pretty sure it's only on the Saturn. Um, Japanese anyway. Definitely Japanese exclusive. I, think, I could stand correct. Maybe it came, came out on the PC Engine or Saturn. But I think it, but I'm not too sure. But anyway. Nice set that is, it comes with art book and all sorts. Not too expensive either. Okay, Princess Crown. Again, Japanese um, fantasy type fighting type game with RPG elements in again. That's really good. It's done by people who did um, Dragon's Crown. Um, oh, God, I can't remember what it's called now. Is it King's Crown or whatever it is? There's a, there's a, you know what I mean? There's a modern port on the PS3 and an ultra port on PS4. Okay, Radiant Silver Gun, all complete with all the art bits. Yeah, very expensive game. Um, yeah, I do have a repo of this as well, but this is my original, so highly prized. Um, it's definitely one, it's one of the best games. I wouldn't say, like I said, I, prefer, I do prefer Battle Gregor overall, but that's still a bloody good game. All right, this one, a bit of an oddity, really. Um, you might recognise that guy if you watch any of the Japanese commercials for Saturn. Um, what's his name? Is it Sagata Shanshuro Shrin Kenguiji? So I think Sagata is probably. Oh, I don't know. Part of that is his name, I should imagine. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, he did a commercial, but he also done a cheesy game. It's not too expensive, I think it's about 30 quid really for a Saturn, so it's a bit of an oddity for a collection. But I thought I'll get it while it's reasonably priced. Okay, another game that does play well in English, it's Shadows of a Tusk. So a fantasy game, but again it's a Japanese exclusive, not too expensive. Okay, this is uh, Shin Jinobin. Um, Basically, it's um, was it um, Shin Shinobi? Yeah, it's like a Shinobi game. Um, you can get this uh, in PAL, but it's about eighty or odd quid plus. So to get a Japanese version, which plays just pretty much the same, is again, it's a better way to go for most people. Okay, Skullfang shooter, not too expensive. And um, another one, if you like your afterburner, Sky Target. Again, not too expensive. This may have came out on the West, but again, the Japanese version is cheapest chips. Okay, Snatcher. We know all about this on Mega CD. Um, so I've got Police Knocks. I might as well get a Japanese version of Snatcher too, so I have done. All nice in a set. Okay. Okay. Alright, this is Shukyo Grentai, or also known as Terror Diver in the West. Um, this is a really good shooting game, actually. It's, it's, I think it's done by Rising and Electronic Arts. Um, yeah, if you like your Battle Gorilla, you'll definitely like this. And uh, this also came out on the PlayStation, but I can't remember out of two which is the best port. Uh, I think the PlayStation's got a bit of some more animation scenes in it, but. Uh, yeah, I think it's worth you pick up anyway. I also have a, a reproduction of this. This game isn't stupid money. I got this for about 45 quid, I believe. So um, it's not 
stupid money yet, but that could easily change for Japanese games as Western people keep buying up their stock. So, yeah. Okay, Street Fighter Real Pup Battles on film. Um, yeah, a Japanese version is much cheaper than a Western copy. Um, not dirt cheap though. Okay, Macross. Super Dimension Fortress Macross. Um, based on the, the anime and manga. Again, not too expensive. Okay, another Capcom fighting game. Vampire Savior with a megabyte cartridge. And you've got Vampire Savior, you're going to have to have also Vampire Hunter. Okay. Uh, might as well drop, drop, um, jump to this big box. I've got it all in the sleeve. I don't really particularly want to take it out. It came out with a CD soundtrack and a VHS tape. And it is the game Paradise. Uh, a more bon modern port of this did came out to uh, PS4, I think, or was that game? No, that's Game Paradise 2, I'd say corrected. Um, but yeah, this is quite a pricey game actually from Japan, so yeah, the Game Paradise, um, very sought after, cutesy, stroke, smutty, top down, you know, but L. Okay, Trinkle Star Sprites. I got this from a UK sir, it's a Japanese game obviously. Quite a pricey game, all the same, but yeah, nice to have. Okay, got here Wakey Wakey 7. So that like Wakey Wakey 7, isn't it? Uh, another classic um, Sunsoft um, beating up game. Uh, I think it was, came out on a Neo Geo originally, but it was ported to a Saturn. Comes with a megabyte cartridge, I believe. Um, yeah. Uh, Willy Wombat, a nice little cartoony um, top down adventure game, cartoony elements, plays well in English, relatively Red, cheap, so Willy Wombat. Okay, last but not least, uh, on my original Japanese games, is X Men vs. Street Fighter. Yeah. So I've pretty got, much got all the best um, Capcom 2D fighters there, I believe. Okay, now rest of these are my reproduction Japanese games, and, um, and a lot of you may wish to turn off at that at some point, but I, I would say if you're interested in the Saturn, do watch them because you'll get ideas of other games to get to import uh, if, you've got, if you've got loads of money to import because these games, a lot of these games, are not cheap at all. And uh, there's some really good shooters here. There's some average shooters, so that's why um, I've gone for reproduction over original because some games aren't worth hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Um, uh, some aren't even worth 50 quid. So, uh, so to get a reproduction for about a fiver, well, actually six quid, these dual case ones, that's how much it cost me to on printed disc. That's why I went that route, really. And so this, all these games are easily worth six quid. So, um, uh, that's why I went that route, really. Uh, so anyway, let's, let's start doing games. Symph uh, Symphony of the Night, Castlevania. Um, obviously, it plays in Japanese language. That's the downside because this wasn't not ported to a rest on a Saturn. Uh, we can't, obviously got it on PlayStation, uh, but this is a reproduction of a Saturn version. Um, quite a classic game, of obviously. Again, Battle Gurega, this is my player, player's one, <laughs> player's copy, so to speak. Uh, Batsugan. Um, is this the one that's got some smutty, rude elements in it? I can't remember. No, maybe not. I'm thinking of another game, which I have got, I'm sure. Okay. Blast Wind. Yeah, very expensive game. Uh, bulk slash. Um, again, this might be one that has rude elements. I can't remember. I know there's a, one of these games that does have a few rude bits in it. Um, sometimes with Japanese shoes, you get, get get confused what's in what and what's not. Uh, okay. Cotton Boomerang. Um, yeah. Cotton games are extremely expensive all round, aren't they? 
and Cotton 2, Magical Night Dreams, um, really good um, side um, shooters. All right, with Darius games, uh, I know you can get these Darius games in the West, but they are a stupid amount of money. Uh, da uh, but I would say that um, they are pretty much worth it, though. Um, Darius, is it, is it Darius 2 or Darius Garden? I can't remember which one, but one was definitely much better than the other. But um, yeah, Darius um, Garden and Darius 2, reproductions, cheaper way of getting them. Uh, Dark Sea 2. Again, not a good horror game, but uh, and it's quite expensive, so to get a repost good enough for that. All right, um, this is like the this is a trim B in it, the Tana Trim B Yahoo Deluxe Pack. Uh, another cutie type um, down looking shooting game. All right, Dungeons and Dragons, Dragons Collection. Um, yeah, this is a reproduction. Um, it's really expensive to get, get this uh, original copy uh, with a megabyte cartridge. It's well over £100. So I went for a reproduction in the end because um, it still plays in Japanese. Um, actually, I think this one might have a bit of English bits in. I can't remember what, what, what they did on it, but um, I do have this on PS3 as well and the English versions of the PlayStation Network on my PS3. But anyway, okay. Dodon Patchy. I am aiming to get this Dodon Patchy on the PlayStation, original PlayStation Japanese, so that's why I went for a reproduction of that. Um, also, I think I got a remake of of that as well on the Xbox 360, is it? Or PS3, I can't remember. Anyway, um, Don Patchy as well. Another one which I want to get original PlayStation, so I'm going to spend my money that way. Uh. Jerry Curden Time Travelling Shooting. So this is the one whereby you it's got a little bit of story mode in it with the shooting elements. Um really pricey game though. I think that's very really good though. Um Gradius Deluxe Pack. Um I'm not I prefer Darius to Gradian personally. But uh, it's a very expensive game. Okay, Groove on Fight. Um another two D type fighting game. Not cheap, so I'll go in for the reproduction version. And uh, the animation is not perfect. Um, I just got this for the art style. Okay. I'm a bloke, what do you expect? Alright, anyway, uh, Guardian Force. Uh, yeah, this is another space shooting type game. Quite a good one. There's more 3D elements in it. Gunbird, must own, uh, yeah. This is a really good game to get. Right. Final Fight. What's it called? Final Fight Revenge. Um, I'm not pulled to any other uh, console, I believe, so it's quite an exclusive to a Saturn. It's not, a, not I, hear, I haven't played this yet, it's not supposed to be a very good game. Um, the art style is not, not desired too greatly by fans, I believe. Uh, again, quite expensive though, because of it, it is of, a, of its rarity. So, reproduction was a way to go. Hyper Jewel, another good game, but extremely pricey. Like right, Gun Frontier, so it was a book hell shooters with sort of like West cowboy and western type art style. The art style is fantastic, the gameplay is not so fantastic. So, um, I was in two minds whether or not to, you know, to spend like the hundred pound or whatever it is to get this game. And after playing it, I was glad I went for a reproduction. To be perfectly honest, because it's it's okay, but it's not worth a hundred pound, whatever. Okay, image fight and X multiply, X multiply. I think that's what it is. Image fight and X multiply arcade gears. So this is a um, two games in one reproduction again. Um, not bad games. Okay, I've got the original of this on the PlayStation, so I was quite happy to just get a reproduction for this. And this is in the deep, in the deep. Obviously, that same by the same people did Metal Slug, same art style, but obviously with submarines. And it's in Japan, it's known as Keitai Daisu. Uh, 
Okay. Tiger um Tiger 2 Plus um that is a very good helicopter type shooting game, but again very expensive, so um yeah, reproduction is the way to go for that. Metal black, another space um shooter, but the shooter that's very expensive. Cool. My player's copy of Radiant Silver Gun, yep, you know, with reproduction, because I do have original, but I'm not touching that. Uh, Sam Under Deluxe Pack. Um, the Sam Under games are okay. Again, I prefer Darius, although that, 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 that time period. Alright, um, Psychosis games. Uh, a lot of those have been brought out by. Uh, this is. Um, Sengoku Blade. Um, it's a two disc version or three disc version and one of the discs is just like information on, on the characters or something I think it is, or bonus bits. Um, quite a pricey game. You can get this on other versions. In the West I think I think this came out on a was it PS PlayStation or PlayStation 2 in PAL. Um, it's it's very good. You can get this now on a Switch published by about three publishers now, believe it or not. Um, there's original Japanese release, another release with, with box sets, and even uh, NISA uh, America's releasing the Psychosis games, the same 12 games on two discs. I've got the original releases that were like three ga uh, four games on three cartridges for, sat um, for Switch. But yeah, the Psychosis games, they are must own. But I said that there are cheaper ways of getting them out on the sand. Okay, uh, this game is uber expensive. This is Shunrei Jetsuo Teramoro. It's like a, a side adventure, like uh, ninja type fighting type game using magic and other elements. Okay, alright, this is another top down shooting game which is really good but expensive. Shorin Wairu. Okay, Silhouette Mirage. Again, this is a game that has both 2D. <laughs> I think it have, might have some isometric elements in it too. It's got some really cutesy type graphics. Um, yeah, different. Uh, another Psychosis game type thing, Soul Divide, published by Atlas. Sonic Wings Special. I've got the original of this on the PlayStation. Um, so um, that's why I was happy to get a reproduction for Saturn, but still really good game to own. And of course, I need to put a new bag for this, I believe. It's getting a bit worn this bag. Um, I tell a diver, Shuikyo N, type my, my player's copy, because I've got to do an original now. I'll leave that out so I can get a new case for a new plastic um, sleeve for Steam Hearts. Now, this is the one that's got rude elements. This is, this is the one. <laughs> Uh, remember when now, Steam Hearts, um, quite pricey. So there's a bit of a um, little bit of a hentai in it. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be still a good game, all the same, but um, not cheap either way. Strikers 1945. I love the Strikers game. Um, um, I do have originals on the PlayStation. Again, reproduction for Saturn was okay with me because they are not cheap. Um, I mean, to be honest, you can probably get these for between fifty and hundred pounds, but still, when you've already got them on PlayStation, you think, why am I spending extra money on Saturn sometimes? All right, Terra Questa 3D. This is more of, a, like I said, a 3D type space shooter. Okay. All right. These games are again. These are games I do have on. Uh, I actually got this on the Genesis uh, Mega Drive, really. So it's this is Thunder Force uh, Gold Pack One, which has got Thunder Force Two and Three on, and the Thunder Force Gold Pack Two, which has got Thunder Force AC and Four on, um, and finally Thunder Force Five as well, which I do have on another format, but for the life of me, I can't remember what it is. And Last but not least, Wolf Fang. Um, again, it's like a, a 
a mech type space shooting game, which is not cheap. Okay. Okay, that's it, guys. That is my Saturn collection. And to be perfectly honest, when people say, oh, it's so good, Saturn, there's not much in the library, they're totally ignorant because they're not looking at the Japanese market. I mean, even on the power market, when, those, when you look at those games I showed you, all right, it's nothing in terms of size compared to the PlayStation, but there are still some mighty, mighty, mighty games to own on the Saturn. And when you branch out to a, a Japanese side, there is... A, a, a hell of a lot to to make a good library with and to entertain you for uh, many years <laughs> years even so yeah um, a lot of those shooters are not played from beginning to end I've just dipped my toe into a lot of those shooters so these things are always being so more time in time permitting but now I can actually do it on the original hardware um, and so it's really nice really because Saturn emulation is not perfect uh, and uh, to play reproductions on your original hardware is fine in my book and um, uh, and so one more these what I do do is I don't pass off reproductions as original games so I deliberately put on the back of these my reproductions a little sticker that says repro so if anyone wants to look at my collection or anything else like that I'm not saying oh yeah I've got all these original games because to be honest if you had all these original games you've probably got more money in sets because it'll cost you thousands really in total, so um, and I'll rather spend that money on other games because you have to really. If you're collectors like we are, there are so many um, modern games that you have to get while they're, while they're out. Like on the PlayStation 4, you can't some of those you can wait until they're cheap, but some of those you have to get when you see them because they're just you know no longer, no longer available. And even some of the Switch games are a bit like that sometimes, so uh. Yeah, you, you do have to dip your toes in many pots, really, when I mean, you're collecting games, just so you, you get the rare games before they... I mean, the, the sort after games before they become stupid money, really. Uh, so that means you can't spend all your money on old games. And, and so in some kind of cases, reproductions were fine in my book, really, for a Saturn. And my, like I said, my favourite games I have got original copies for, but they do cost a bomb. Most of them do. But anyway, guys, I digress. Um... Do leave any comments, uh, if you've got any questions by all means ask them, uh, like, subscribe if not already and until next time uh, it'll be a goodbye. My next time video will be, uh, my next video will probably be a pickup video to be perfectly honest and after that I'll do my game room tour because hopefully by then I would have been able to afford the, the shelves I need from Ikea but the amount I need it's not going to be too, it's not going to be cheap really but they will be worth it once I've got it because they will replace some of the old units I've got which I've fallen apart really. Anyway, guys, take care.